long way from runaway inflation. That's And that's a, a fear that a lot of folks have is that we might see that kind of hyperinflation that we're going to, that that essentially the country is debasing the dollar and, and that we can't trust the dollar anymore. And that's maybe why you see a run into cryptocurrencies. Is that not something that you believe that the dollar could could lose its value or, or potentially even collapse or lose its status as uh, the world's uh, you know reserve currency? Well, there's some speculation. You saw a lot of uh, pundits talking about this this week, that China was really trying to promote cryptocurrencies as a way to getting out of under the mat of the dollar. Because the truth is the Chinese economy is based on the U.S. dollar in the sense that everything outside of their economy settles in USD. Nobody wants to take the Chinese yuan and hold that long term. They have no idea what the policymakers are going to do with it. So if you want to do business out of Hong Kong or out of China, you ask to settle in U.S. dollars. And that's really what the Chinese are frustrated about. What they prefer to see is a cryptocurrency, perhaps one they bring on them on themselves, uh, which I would never take into custody because the Chinese could simply turn it off if they weren't happy with you or something you said about them, or <laughs> Bitcoin. And that's why Bitcoin is at a new high today. Um, no government controls it, but it does have its own issues emerging now. So we've got a very interesting time going on here. We're basically, and I think the best way to put it, in an economic war with China. China doesn't play by the rules, doesn't give us access to their courts, does not give us access to the middle class. They use American courts to litigate their own IP domestically and sell tons of products into the largest economy on the earth currently, which is the US economy. And until that playing field is leveled, we're going to have tremendous tension with that regime. China this morning came out and said that they wanna play nice with Biden in so many words. Uh, it sounds like you don't believe them. No, I don't. Um, I just look at the last 10 administrations and how crafty they are in making nice, sounding nice, and then keeping everything the same as before. The only uh, thing the Chinese understand and respect is the stick. That's what they understand. And wow. so you can look and back for the last five administrations and realize until the last one where they really put the pressure on them, nothing was changing. The idea that you can form a cohort of American and European economies to work together to bring the Chinese a bit to bay is not gonna happen because in Europe, basically 25% of most of those economies is tied to China. So while they'll give lip service, they don't wanna in any way taint their relationship with a quarter of their GDP. That's why it never worked. The only time now is to go hardcore against China and say, look, we understand we're in a competition. We understand the, le the, the, living, you know, the, the, the playing field is not level, so sure. let's let's level it. And the way to level it is to say, let's let's make it level right now. What would that mean? Delist all the Chinese stocks. Do not give them access to our courts. We don't get access to their courts. Make it the same for both. Then build it back up. When the Chinese feel the pressure of that stick, they'll understand they have to somehow raise the bar. Now that sounds torturous and difficult, but it sure. has to be done. It has to be done. It makes no sense to me that an American manufacturer has to give up their IP, and basically have it stolen, that hasn't changed. You've heard a lot about it from the last administration, but it's the same. The Chinese people are not at fault. It's the policy of the Chinese government that is causing these tensions. And it's really time to address it now. Now's the time, because if they become bigger, which they will in the next 20 years, you won't have that leverage anymore. Remember, the stick is what they appreciate. The stick is what they want. The stick is what will work. The stick is what they want. I mean, the stick is generally associated with sanctions. I, I, I don't believe that China wants sanctions, but it sounds like that's what you're advocating. No, I'm beyond sanctions. I want to take them right out of the financial system of North America. <laughs> they don't get oh, access to it. It's that so, simple. So Alibaba, Neo, Xpeng, D-list. Sure. You know, the economy, the economy <laughs> is so large and there's yeah. so many other places to deploy capital in those markets. It'll find a way. Or if you insist, you can simply go buy those shares on the Hong Kong exchange sure. or whatever exchange it is, but it'll make it much harder for compliant institutions in the US to do business with them. And also, wow. you know, frankly, that stick will really put some pressure on them to solve the problem. My assumption is you have a few rough quarters when you do this, you implement it, yeah. but then we get to what we want, a really collateral discussion with them about leveling the playing field. America can compete. China can compete. Just level the playing field and let the competition begin. But don't keep it in this unbalanced football field where it's so unfair for other economies that don't get access to the Chinese economy. If they want to play with the big boys, 
They've got to play with a level playing field. And if it takes a little pressure to get them there, that's okay. The stick works. 